What's going on guys, Super Heavy Walrus here, and today, new update, finally, everyone was waiting for this update, yeah, indeed they are. Last time I showed you the first box from Anime Limited's Funimation Clearance Sale, and today I'm gonna show you the box 2 and 3. So here are the second box that I bought them from. So let's start with the first one. Here is Shimineta. Hey, boring world where you where a boring world where the con concept of dirty chokes doesn't exist. This is some kind of a really really sexualized comedy. You might even call it etchy. Really, really simple uh, Blu-ray case. And then Barakamon. Barakamon. Grimgar Ashes and Illusions. And then a movie, The Empire of Crosses. Corpses, I mean. Empire of Corpses. And then a steel book, Harmony, from uh, Project Ito. Same as the Empire of Corpses. I don't know what Project Ito is, but still, these look quite amazing. But like with the Gangutsu steel book, this is not your ordinary steel book that you might see with. With its own spine, this has these hinges, which are quite stupid. I don't like this at all. Yeah, it still looks amazing. The steel book looks pretty, pretty good. If I can get it on frame. Yeah, two discs, DVD and Blu-ray, and then some art cards. Two, two of them. Yes. That's really quite amazing, actually. Yeah, this is an unboxing of this uh, steelbook. Still, I'm not fond of these steelbooks, but it looks pretty good. But still, you can fit two discs on a uh, more uh, ordinary uh, steelbook. Because these are... These are not rare, but you don't see them quite often, as you do those with their own spine. And the last one from the second box here is Lord Marksman and Banadis. Banadis. And of course I'm going to unbox this, so... Stay... Stay tuned for unboxing of this quite simple one, but still I'm going to unbox, unbox it. And then the third Funimation clearance sale box, which has only two titles. First one is Lucky Star. This was one of the uh, series that I never imagined of buying. Like really, because this looks so goddamn Moe, and I am not a big fan of Moe, but this was cheap and many people like this, so I will give it a shot. And then the second one here is Rage of Bahamut Genesis, a quite uh, sturdy and heavy collector's edition with two Blu-ray cases and, and the most heaviest of this set, the art book. Yeah, pretty nice unboxing of that too. And then uh, Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2. Finally I can put this into the bigger Attack on Titan box. Which I actually unboxed already, so I'm gonna unbox this too. 
Well, there's not much of an... It's not gonna be a, a long unboxing, so maybe I will just open it now. Because this just contains uh, some sort of a companion art book and uh, the digipack. But you can actually... God damn, this is... Stick together by this stupid, this stupid resin type of thing. I, I hate that. And these two. Oh, oh god. What do we have here? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Start your free trial on Funimation. Now I cannot. So here are the, the DVDs. And then this middle. This is actually the art book from the characters. And some. Some manga! Holy shit! And then the Blu rays. And then. Is this actually. That doesn't appear to be. Is it actually. No. There is some. Why this is. Why? God damn, this is. Sometimes these. The resin, the resin actually just leaves marks, like some of my Gundam boxes. Yeah, that's not, that's not. I don't like that. But these are not bad. These come out quite easily. Yeah, there's. Erwin, I have seen uh, Attack on Titan Season 3, waiting for the Season 4, the uh, final season. There's more of it, god damn! So yeah, Attack on Titan is a, uh, a pretty popular series, but it is good. Not my, uh, not my favorites, but still, I quite enjoyed it uh, up until now. And then we go to a Rascal does not dream of a of Funny Girl Senpai. God damn me! Can't even speak English. Yeah, the complete series collector's edition box, which actually came uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah, looks pretty good. Of course I'm gonna unbox this too. And this is also one of the newer ones. Gundam Wing box. And you might wonder, what? Another Gundam Wing box. Well, this contains the Gundam Wing Endless Waltz movie. And the bigger box? Well, this is the uh, Anime Limited Anime Limited exclusive box from their own website. And I pre ordered this, so I got the bigger box, oh, which has space for the TV series. And I'm gonna unbox this. Of course, I will. And then we move to the DVD section. Here is now and then, here and there. The complete uh, collection from US Manga Corps. Kind of old release. Has some damage on the box. I don't care for that. It's not a, a bad deal. Contains four DVDs. And I don't actually see which has the first. This is the first. Yeah, looks pretty good. I 
actually uh, wanted to get this uh, for quite a while. So now I have this. Now I have it. And then the last thing that I'm going to talk about is something quite special actually because it is one of my favorite anime movies probably my favorite one here is what the hell is this collector's edition of what this is a, a Korean collector's edition DVD collector's edition of Ninja Scroll a really awesome movie and this set is just amazing like like you can do a simple collector's edition and get the feeling of just getting the feeling of this is actually special everything here just blows me away so here is uh, this is kind of funny in this because here is uh, the movie with uh, is this the with uh, DTS audio yeah and then you get another copy of the movie like this is maybe the older version Old, older release of this so yeah nothing else just this simple and it works so much better than the Eureka 7 cardboard box. God damn, I hate that box. The uh, what you get inside of that box is still amazing, but the presentation of the outer so called ultimate edition box is so bad compared to this. This box has magnet latch and it feels so much better than just some cardboard box and this excuse me this is the poster for the movie and my god it's, it is upside down my god it, it, it looks amazing like i love this movie so much all the action scenes and the character design and the animation everything everything is just so goddamn awesome and, uh, what was in here i can't even remember yeah yeah just uh, art cards these are kind of kind of flappy Yeah, this is, this was really, and this didn't cost me a lot of money, so this works so much better than the Eureka 7 Ultimate Edition, but still I'm, it's kind of odd you put two versions of the same movie and on different kind of packagings. On a regu regular DVD case, and then this this uh, uh, Digi book type of thing. It's just you can be this simple with your big box and still get it to work so so much better than just like showing a lot of art yeah I like that simplicity works in this case a lot so that was the last one and next time you will see a couple of unboxings so I'll see you guys later <laughs>